Okay, welcome uh, to this video tutorial. <clears throat> I've uh, had a request to show how to cut a hole in a mesh without using uh, booleen. In uh, one of my video tutorials, I, I built the hole and then built the mesh around the hole. Uh, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to uh, use uh, or cut the hole without using booleen. And this mesh, this mesh is kind of dense, so if uh, hexagon gets kind of slow on me, I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to upgrade my uh, graphics card maybe next year. But anyway, what I've done is I've uh, modeled this, this hat here. And I've cut a hole right here in the hat. Pardon me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. There are a couple of ways to do it. I'm Control Z in so I can uh, remove that hole. Almost there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got my mesh. Let's pull this up out of that grid a little bit. Oh, forgot my hat band. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the grid. And uh, the first thing I want to do is is uh, look at the place where I want my hole in my mesh. And I just want to. Uh, make sure I have enough vertices to get a fairly smooth <clears throat> hole. Um, if it's if it's low poly six or eight is okay. Uh, if later on you're going to smooth it out, uh, but we'll touch on that a little bit later in this tutorial. But I'm going to make sure I have my hat mesh selected. Anyway, uh, 12 is, is really probably a good minimum uh, to use to get a fairly smooth um, hole. So anyway, what I've done is I've uh, selected uh, these uh, polygons here, <clears throat> and that's where I'm going to cut my hole. And, and just because I selected though that uh, radius there doesn't mean that can be the size of my hole I can make it smaller or I can make it larger so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete those polygons and I'm gonna go to edge selection and I'm gonna select one of those edges and then I'm gonna loop select it <clears throat> and I'm gonna control C and control V to copy uh, that curve and what I'm gonna do this is I'm going to look right here and uh, look at the number of points and we can see that we have 12 there so that's going to work. So I'm going to control Z that to uh, do away with that curve. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do uh, let's go ahead and control Z that and close that hole back up. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is go here under the properties tab and you have three icons here reset working plane custom working plane and uh, another let's see custom working plane with camera rotation enabled and then custom working plane and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a custom working plane I'm just gonna click on that and I'm gonna click one of these faces I have selected here and I'll go ahead and zoom out and what you can see is uh, that my grid is now placed in relation uh, to those polygons that I have selected uh, let's see here so let's 
go ahead now and delete those polygons and let's go up here to our lines tab and select the very last icon <clears throat> there that uh, it will will have to choose three points to create a uh, circle so oh let's escape out of that and we need to go down here and set our uh, shading mode to where we'll be able to see our uh, edges so now let's go back here and select that again what I'm going to do as I'm drawing this circle out I'm going to hold my shift key and remember we're going to need uh, three points to create this circle I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to snap to a point there I'm going to grab uh, one of these uh, ones on the side here and then I'm going to grab one on the bottom and what that does is uh, put us a circle kind of <clears throat> there in the middle of our where our holes gonna go and then I'm gonna go back up here to the scene panel and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure a hat mesh is selected <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go to point mode what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start let's say I'm gonna grab this point here uh, let's before we do that, let's go ahead and <clears throat> reset our custom working plane. I'm going to select this first icon here. I'm just going to click somewhere <clears throat> in my scene. And as you can see, that restores my um, working plane. Um, it's a little bit easier to snap vertices. Uh, in a normal working plane. So I'm going to grab this vertice and I'm just going to start moving it and as I get close to uh, one of these vertices on the circle there I'm going to hold my shift and snap. I'm going to hold my shift and snap and I'm just going to work my way around and I'm going to snap these vertices on the hat to that circle. Oh, I don't think we got it there, didn't we? So, let's see here. I may have snapped to the wrong vertices here. <clears throat> It's it's good ideal to work in a clockwise manner. Um, that is a matter of preference, though. So anyway, as you can see here, we've we've got a hole. Um, go ahead and hide this curve. <coughs> now, <coughs> let me uh, click off of that. As you can see, that a hole is kind of jagged and not too smooth a uh, way we can improve that and uh, that may not be the size of hole you want so what we'll do is go in here and we'll make sure we're in uh, vertex modeling and then we'll use uh, the close tool and we'll just close that up and then let's see here let's grab uh, one of these edges and rings that didn't work let's see here let's try to yeah we're not going to be able to ring select that uh, so let's grab this loop on the outside hmm that ain't going to work okay let's grab this face and then I'm going to hit my B key to, to grab that loop and then I just scale it up a little bit and let's see here let's go to selection and kind of rotate that a little bit to kind of straighten it out a little bit there then I'm going to uh, yeah that worked 
And then let's go back here and select this face and then I'm gonna hold my control key and I'm gonna this red box here I'm just gonna click on it once and let go of my control key <coughs> to inset those polygons and maybe do it one more time okay so now let's kinda hit my one key on my numpad and kinda zoom in here and now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my UV and paint tools and I'm going to grab soften brush and I'm going to crank up the size to about the size of this circle here so let's see where that is a little bit bigger let's go a little bit bigger there click in there a little bit kind of smooth that out and and uh, let's validate that but you can see that that it's not really smooth in here uh, even though in the middle our circle is a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my soften tool again I'm gonna reset that the size back down to about five uh, maybe about three I'm just going to go ahead and, and go in here and just kind of soften up these vertices some. That should make us a pretty decent hole and validate that and I'm going to just go back in here and select this face and delete it and let's back off here and, and uh, deselect that and you can see we've still got a few artifacts there uh, so what I would do is I would go ahead and take my smooth brush and go back in there and kind of smooth that out a little bit better but, but uh, that's a pretty good way to uh, create a hole oh didn't mean to do that doggone it oh well I uh, did not mean to close that uh, so let's go ahead and open it back up I didn't save that so uh, recent files and we'll choose the hat so anyway uh, that was kind of one way uh, to create the hole in that uh, high poly mesh uh, just to mention or not change the subject here uh, I, if you I just recently uh, made a uh, operation operating system change, and I'm I'm using Windows 8 now. Uh, just in case anybody is curious, what desktop that was? Um, maybe even uh, at some point, if anybody's interested, I would uh, kind of do an introduction video to Windows 8 in case you want to give it a try. Uh, anyway let's go ahead and hide this and hide this and I'm going to show you another way to make a hole let's just grab a cube um, you would what you would do is go ahead and start out with a low poly mesh and let's go ahead and uh, create some I tell you what let's uh, go to face selection and select all and then go to the vertex modeling tab and then um, subdivide those faces select all the faces again and subdivide them again okay uh, now this is fairly low poly and let's say this was the the top of our hat or the crown of the hat uh, that we just created Let's go ahead and select these bottom faces here. Delete. I always start out with a uh, low poly mesh and then 
uh, build my silhouette and then uh, and then uh, add subdivision afterwards okay now uh, let's go ahead and select these edges here extrude them out let's say it's like the brim anyway uh, this this will look pretty weird when I do the subdivision on it but anyway let's just go ahead and uh, wherever you want your hole you need to make sure that uh, you have a, a almost perfectly square polygon there and just delete it and continue modeling and make sure you leave that, that wherever that hole is going to go square and then when you subdivide you'll see that you <coughs> start having a hole there uh, and it's it's a lot more round um, than than it would be cutting a hole in the mesh the other way so and if if uh, that uh, hole was too big and then you can go ahead and inset those faces if you wanted to delete it and subdivide so anyway there's some other ways to cut holes in a mesh uh, yeah, to create a circle now that was just the way I do it in hexagon um, now in Blender, or uh, one of my favorite applications is XSI, uh, Soft Image XSI, and um, there's it's it's a lot easier in both of those applications to go ahead and cut a hole in uh, the mesh. Uh, Blender has a uh, vertex uh, smoothing uh, tool that's just absolutely outstanding so <clears throat> I haven't demonstrated that in any of these videos because I try to uh, keep them completely hexagon uh, but anyway I'm kind of rambling on here so uh, I will catch you in the next video have a great day